Good day, everyone, and welcome to episode number seven, season three of Airport CEO. Starting off today's episode with Havana Air in one of our small um, commercial stand. Uh, commercial stand number two uh, in the north of our terminal building. So, oh, and there we go. Hang on, let's, oh, nice. But not where we wanted to be because we don't want to do that. We wanted to do that. Thank you. Uh, no, don't delay the flight. Do not delay the flight. So, what has happened? To get to episode number seven, I did as I said I would do in the last episode, and we went all the way from where we were, which I think was Tuesday from memory. I went all the way through and got to Sunday. And uh, as you can see, we've... Why is that still in Sunday? Oh, because it's six, right. Okay. And we finished Sunday, and now we are in Monday. And having done all of that, we now have $520,000 in our bank account. Our runway is doing okay, and our stands are doing okay. And that's all that's happened since the last episode. Um, as you can see, we're getting a little bit busy. So we are ready to go ahead and do a couple of things. We're, we're ready to get the procurement director and we're also ready to investigate 24-hour flights to our airport. So, uh, oh, and uh, oh, the other thing I did do, actually, uh, to not to lie to anybody, was I kept getting these golden opportunities, which I kept deleting. So uh, you will be all surprised to know that that happened while you were waiting for episode number seven as well. So let's go and uh, look at the executive committee and find the procurement director, which is here. And we could employ such a person. Could we? We could. Okay. But we have to go for applicants and we have to go for executives. And we have to find a procurement director. And there are two of them. Now, isn't that interesting? These, these are not particularly... It would be better, actually, if there were numbers at the end of this, if you happen to be a dev and you're looking at this. Um, now, he has more logical skill, more logic skill. He's also better at interactive, and he has high stress management. But technical skills down a bit. But he has better logical skills. So I'm going to go with this guy. Because he has a mustache as well. That's, that's another good reason to hire somebody. So we have now hired a procurement director. Let's go and have a look at our board. The executive committee, as it were. There he is. Nice guy. Mustache, handsome fellow, Kado Tam, 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 don't know, check the runway, no, well, you know what, let's just do it anyway. Um, now, procurement, yes, contracts, maybe, but definitely procurement. So, ah, and there we have Jet A1 Fuel Service, which we're going to... That's $50,000. Okay, we could do that if we wanted to. And there's night flights, $150,000. You know what? I'm going to do night flights first. Double check, 524. Yes, we're going to do that. Okay, everyone stay on the program. Procurement, night flights, delivery time. What's that, one day? I think that's a day. So let's... COO, Procurement Director. Do I have to hire a COO to do this? 
by submitting a small bureaucratic fee, the flight regulating regulation agency will lift the ban on nighttime flights and allow you to schedule flights any time of the day. I'm going to do it anyway. All right, but you make sure to follow the requirements. Man. COO. Oh, okay. Well, that's sad because now I've got to hire a COO. So, what does a COO give me? Auto repair. Ah, oh, useful. Reduces operating cost. Yeah, that's useful. Okay, Chief Operating Officer. Chief Operating Officer. How many are there applying for the job? There are two of them. Um, this one, the technical skill is very high, but, but this one has more in the green. And it's Teddy, Teddy Petrov. Teddy Petrov looks like a girl. But Teddy is not a girl's name. You know what? I don't care. Teddy gets hired. There you go. We hired based on criteria, not on names and looks. It's what we do. We're that kind of an employer. Uh, procurement. You're looking at procurement for nighttime flights. Except that I cannot do that because I've got waiting unlock. Unlocker now. Time left, zero hours, zero minutes, and zero percent complete. Yeah, one day, 24 hours, right, fine. In the meantime, though, there's a situation developing which we all need to be aware of. And that situation is... Wow, look at that, minus $153,000. Oh, right, because I just spent $150,000 on a procurement. Now, the issue that we have at the minute is that we have flights pending. Um, we are in Monday, and Tuesday is still full. Wednesday is starting to break up a bit, and then we get Thursday, and, and it's all happening. So we're not going to start doing any rescheduling now until we get the restricted time zones lifted. And then we're going to start on that because that's important to us. And so in... Mumble, mumble, mumble. Complain, bitch, moan, all that sort of stuff. Uh, triple speed, thank you very much. Uh, and just keep going. Now, interestingly enough, this should auto-repair. And I want to see it auto repair because I like to double check that things are actually running according to the plan. Flights in pattern two, interesting. Eighty one. At what point will it repair? Do you think fifty percent? Maybe, maybe, or maybe it waits till it's almost about to break. And then it repairs it. Will it repair it? 78. Okay, well, you know what? It's. I love how the planes come out and then they stop and get run over completely by other planes. And then, like, I don't know, the, the scheduling's a bit messed up. Well, the scheduling, I shouldn't say the scheduling. The graphics in line with the position and what the planes are actually doing is a bit out of sync, I think. Um, but not a game breaker, but, you know, that, you know, with the plane just ran over itself, that could be fixed up. And why that guy is sitting there, I have no idea. Um, in actual fact, we probably don't even need that there, you know. Because some of them seem to go around, and then some of them seem to go straight through there. Interesting. Anyway, down to 60%, still going. 406,000 in the bank. 58%. 56. Four 
48. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering when it will automatically repair. Three aeroplanes in the pattern. Because that, no, the, the pattern's not on the ground. It's the flight's 44. Forty-three. Anyway, we can sit and watch this, but that's not the point. The point is we are waiting so that we can do night flights, and then we have to start scheduling everything. But you know what? In the meantime, we could also talk about what we're going to do in terms of over here. My expansion plan for medium aircraft is a brand new terminal over in this section with two runways, uh, but much the same as we did here. We start with one and then we're going to expand to two over here and that's going to be medium and then quite possibly even a third terminal building up here. That's my plan anyway and then up here we'll use these two Ooh, uh, uh, actually, you know what? We don't, we don't have to do that. So it's about 40. We don't have to do that because this is long enough to put the double runway in. So if we do that and we put medium down here. Now, I, no, I think I want to have it separate, actually. I really do think I want to have it separate. So we'll have a terminal building here and we'll leave enough space here to put a road up there to the next building. So what we can do, actually has it completed the procurement? Hang on, let's just hold that thought for a second. New boat with a bit of a force to go around. Small sofa's broken, needs that. I don't think it's, I don't think it's done it yet, hold on. Hold your proverbials. 11 hours left now. Okay, I think what we should do is expand our airport. We could actually put two more stands in. Perhaps. No, let's just double check that. Asphalt. Small. Ah, uh, no. No, 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 no. Aircraft stand. Small, stop it, aircraft stand, small, one, two, we can get two more in, okay, I am in that, 386, one more, okay, terminal building, everybody wants a terminal building, I'm going to give it plenty of room so that I can put a bathroom in, I think. Spending a lot of money doing this, but I think it will be worth it in the long run. And of course, we are going to, we are going to seriously impact our flights. Uh, okay, we need to go back to three because we've got 11 hours before we get to unlocking where we're at. And we're in, we're still in Monday. Oh no, yes, yeah, Monday. Tuesday is almost upon us. So that is good. Uh, now, we worked out, oh actually, um, I tell a fib because while I was doing the offline, we had a lot of instances where we didn't have a check-in desk. So it looks to me like the check-in desk is one check-in desk for two aircraft stands. So because we've done that, we're going to put another check-in desk in. Um, and then we're going to hire some more staff because we're going to need them. Which, you know, oddly enough, is probably a good reason to do something like that. So two more... Uh, two more, not executives, but two more passenger service agents. Oh my gosh, look at the red. Wow, okay. Well, you know what? 
it, you got to do what you can do. Now, we put two more in, so we probably want ramp agents. God, these guys are so bad. I mean, I, I just... I just don't like the red. Get three. I don't even know if that's enough, actually. But we're also going to need... Um, who mans the boarding desks? So I'm going to need another two surface agents, aren't I? Yeah, I think I am. Um, staff, sorry, staff, look at staff, staff, ramp agent, passenger service agent, it's going to need another two more, you have more green, and you have more green, but not ideal, not ideal at all, all right, now, oh, look at you, um, commercial, commercial, small, uh, what, what's the naming convention again? SMC stand, SMC stand, uh, I think this is number seven, isn't it? And this will be this in C stand eight. Okay, very good. We will need a taxiway path, and you will need a taxiway path. Uh, there will need to be doors of the medium variety there and there there will need to be something else happens any minute now new product has a ah okay we've got night flights all right but we are going to go down to two actually no one else stay at three get this finished Get this set and get our aircraft set up for there, and then we can start doing um, our rescheduling. Very cunning. Very cunning. Okay, so the first thing we need is a secure zone. Um, across there. Um, then we need two boarding desks of the small variety. Oh. Two boarding desks of the small variety. Thank you. That's one. That's two. Okay. Um, and as soon as they've completed the outside walls, we will move the inside wall and fix up security. Oh, and before we forget and cause ourselves all sorts of trouble, we will put our service road in here so that when we get fuel set up, we will be able to do fuel and we'll just run that out to the end there for no other reason but that we can. No available check-in desks. Well, there should be. There should be. Okay, this is going to make our airport extremely busy. We are down to $218,000. So we are going to need to keep an eye on that. $218,000. 
$218,000. We're on three speed. Man, the builders are taking their time. We sure are. We haven't even got the new desk in there yet. Check in. Yeah, it's got two flights. Okay. Almost done. Actually, let's queue it, queue it up for deletion anyway, because I think by the time they get there, it'll be ready to go. Okay, control up, control. Demolish all the way to there. And turn that off. Wow, they're starting on the demolition straight away even before they finish this. It's definitely not based on first in, first out. So I'm very curious to know what the algorithm is that they use to determine it. Um, but we need to fix up security because there will be a hole right there. And we need security to be contiguous. Thank you. Just like that. Okay, so uh, we still need this. Still, still need this. Let's get you connected to there. And let's close stand. Are you open already? Hmm, apparently you are. We get this one set up. Yep. And we will hook you up to there. And you are now functional. Okay. Welcome everyone to the brand new world. Let's go down to one for a minute. And let's go to flight scheduling. We have got, oh, seven. Why is that up there? I know why that's up there. Hold on. It's got an extra space in it. That's why. Double check. Yes, it has an extra space in it. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Trap for young players. All right, here we go. Uh, let's start at SMC stand one. We are at the end of Tuesday. We're coming up to Wednesday. Let's go for Thursday. So Thursday, 10 out of 50. There's a four. We're going to take that four and put it there. That's CLM. Penguin has nothing. Wow. Oh, Penguin's 100% like. Goosewing is 18 out of 50. There's a 5. We're going to take this one. And we're going to come in 5, 10, 15 minutes later. Okay. Then Havana... Got a nice six. We're going to put that six in. Five, ten, fifteen. And then Skylink. <gasps> Five, yes. Five, ten, fifteen. Okay. All right, back up to the top. CLM. There's a lovely two. Five, ten, fifteen. Penguin, nothing. Goosewing, one. And we can put Goosewing up here, which will be fifteen minutes later. I wonder, actually. You know, actually, it raises a good question. 5, 10, 15. Havana. There's a 3. So we'll get this 3 in. 1, 2, 3. Or 15 minutes, depending on how you want to call it. And Skylink. Singles. Okay. Well, I can do a singles. 1, 
two, three. Um, yeah, we're still going. Now, where is that, by the way? 0450. Five. Hmm, interesting that, isn't it? Yeah. Penguin. Uh, now we've got penguin. We've got a three for penguin. Penguin, Goosewing, no, Havana, a three. So what is the actual difference there? 3.05 to 4.55, 3.05, one hour and 55, one hour and 50 minutes. Nine fifteen. So it'll be ten fifteen plus fifty minutes. So forty five will be eleven. Ten. Okay. Still on Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We're working Thursday, okay. So more penguin, and it's a nice five from penguin. One, two, three. Two from Havana. Well, actually, how many can we fit in? Yeah, we can fit all through it, two of those in. Two from Havana. One, two, three. And one hour and 50 minutes. But one hour is 14.55. And 50 minutes will be 45, 15.45. And two Skylink. Okay. And I think we're almost at the point where we could get another airline, actually. 248. Golden opportunity. No. Uh, receipt for flights. Save. Yes. Golden opportunity? No. Cool. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. Now, the night flights won't actually be starting for a couple of days, but that's fine. And we are going to need to look at the runways soon, too. We'll need to be getting that up and running. So we're on Wednesday. Right, and I think we could get another airline. So let's have a look at this. Contracts. Accepted contracts. Offered contracts. Okay. We've got one, two, three, four, five. Forest. We don't have forest. We used to have forest before. A320, Cessna. Yes, we'll take forest. Yes, a new airline has been signed, everyone. Um, cool. So where do things stand now? Forest Air. No offered flights. CLM 30. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Hmm. Let's do Friday, shall we? We'll see. Oh, look at that. That's a five. One, two, 
three. Everything is booked out. We've we've scheduled everything. Lucky us, as it turns out. Sixty-one. Okay, and general aviation stands are full. Now, young fellow, my lad, we need to make some changes. And those changes need to be to put another runway in. So how much is a runway cost us? Uh, uh, small grass. $100,000. Well, we can afford it, but we can't afford the changes that we're going to need to make to put it in. But what we are going to need to do is figure out where we're going to put it. One, two, three. Yeah, we need some quite serious redesign work here. There is no doubt that we can fit it in. It just means we're going to have to do some reworking. So I think we might as well start the reworking now and get it underway. Because that's what we're going to have to do. Now... Yep. That's how it's going to have to work. Okay, well, we've spent a bit of money and we've put that in. So that can be going as well. So now let's go to three speed. And uh, there are passengers in the terminal at two o'clock in the morning. Oh, okay. Well, we, we are having nighttime flights, but not at the moment. We're not. They are actually coming. Wednesday. Okay, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, right, Thursday, Friday, here we go. Ah, we have flights, Thursday, okay, now we're into Friday. So what we want uh, is the largest repeatable. I'm happy with the six, actually. I'll just go default six. One, two, three, done. Penguin, we have a three. All right, let's put the three in here. Okay, that's Penguin. Forest, we have a one. Let's move Forest up to here. We need to get Forest happening because we want flight, more flights from then. Goosewing is a single. So we can put the single in here. Havana, a six. So we're going to go to Friday. And we're going to put the six up here. Now, you know, we might as well say two hours. 505. 
And we can't do five out of five, so we'll do five. That was Havana. Now Skylink is a six. So we could go one, two, three. Yep. CLM is a one. So we come back to here. We'll put the one in here. Money is important. Penguin. There's a one, so we'll put the one from Penguin in here. Forest Air, we have a four, so we'll go to the Friday. And we'll go two hours out from 14.10, so that's 16.10. Okay. Forest Air, 16.10. Goose. Goose, we only have a two. So let's put the two in here. Oh, no, didn't like that. Where'd the two go? Interesting, the two went away. That's Goose. Havana, we have a three. Two hours. Can we fit two hours in here? Twenty, twenty-one. Yeah, we can actually. Okay. That's Savannah. And Skylink. Skylink, we had nothing. So let's go to Thursday and we'll take a Skylink. Two thousand seven hundred and pop him just Poppy, poppied in there. Cool. And it's completed that. So now I think we need to start moving these. Um, when we can turn it off, that is. And the other thing we need to do is nothing. So as soon as this guy leaves here, we're going to pause the game and close that down and move it down there. Oh, actually, no, we're not. That would be a trap for young players, wouldn't it? We need to actually get rid of that. Hold your horses. Right. Okay, there you go. Mark for demolition. Okay. That's better. Okay, so we can close three. Okay.
demolish stand. Demolish stand. Demolish stand. Oop. Now I wonder what's going to happen, whether they're going to continue up there even when that stand is demolished or whether they're going to go around here and up there. I'd prefer to do that than actually um, run road up there just for the sake of the short term. But ladies and gentlemen, we are over 40 minutes into the episode and I think that's a very good place to call it today. Having made some pretty good progress, uh, not the least of which is that we met all our objectives. That is to say, we got the procurement directed. We also ended up getting a chief operating officer and we are now scheduling for 24 hour flights. Here we go, on a Thursday, that's where it's all starting. Um, so yes, that's exciting. And we will continue in the next episode with the scheduling and the getting ready to set up our second runway, which is going to be very important um, for the good operation of our airport. So I will look forward to seeing you all then at the Gig Channel. Please stay well until you come back, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.